Welcome to this special presentation where we reveal the top Australian and World 11s to have played at the Sydney Cricket Ground. This is to coincide with the 100th test at the SCG this summer. We're joined by a couple of the panellists who have decided the teams. Rodney Cavalier, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jeremy. And Mike Coward. So, we'll start with the Australian batting line at first, guys. Uh, we have Victor Trumper, David Boone, Don Bradman, Ricky Ponting, Greg Chappell and Keith Miller. So what we have here is a team that's selected very much on Sydney cricket ground form with 99 tests to choose from but um, I may, there's a political ruler put over this as well. Are we going to get away with dropping Don Bradman because his form, <laughs> Sydney cricket ground alone, is highly marginal, doubtful, nowhere near as good as uh, David Byrne for example. Uh, I thought whatever the enthusiasm of the selectors to do something uh, heroic, I would do something that um, we can live with. So Don's in it, probably deserved to be in it, yes. but by no means a star on the Sydney cricket ground. Well, you could make the same argument with Shane Warne, who's in it. Absolutely, and I would make the same argument with Shane Warne, and thanks, Mike, for causing yeah, me to do I, so. I thought you would, because you know, a fair idea who you would have chosen. But uh, um, The great thing is that Victor Trump have walked into it. Vic's form on the Sydney cricket ground is so outstanding there could be none of these decisions like the team of the century which omitted our equally greatest batsman. And for the World Eleven, Herb Sutcliffe, Jack Hobbs, Vivius Laxman, Sachin Tendulkar, Wally Hammond and Garfield Sobers. Well yeah. I think the really significant thing about it at the moment is of course that Laxman and, Sand and Tendulkar will be playing this summer. So what a wonderful way to celebrate the 100th Test match. The two of the greatest batsmen ever on the ground are going to be there to celebrate it. Only the third Test match ground in the world yep. to, uh, to celebrate 100 Test matches and two of the greatest scorers. Uh, and of course that's the other remarkable thing, that the three greatest scorers in the history of, uh, of cricket yep. are in the series with the Drava, Tendulkar and, uh, and, and Ponting. But I mean, Tendulkar has played two of the most remarkable innings. One is a, a very young boy. Um, in the season when he also got 100 in Perth. So he came here um, as, what was he, 18, 19 when he came here, got the 100 in Sydney and 100 in Perth, the most extreme circumstances for a, a young man. And so he an really announced his genius here. I mean, the amusing thing is, of course, that four years ago, we all wrote the valedictory saying mm. goodbye, and he got a standing ovation everywhere he went, and here he is yet again. He's a remarkable player. Subi Turner's a, a lad from uh, Bathurst Orange Way. He had the nickname The Terror. He was in that same era when fast bowling is being invented. You know, th th we forget that most of the arts of cricket, batting and, uh, and bowling, are being invented on the spot, so to speak, as you get this serious international competition. Probably the greatest fast bowler of all time is S.F. Barnes, who refined the art. He, not surprisingly, makes the uh, World Eleven. But in Australia, you've got very interesting experiments by uh, the Demons Spofforth and C.B. Turner. Very interesting. And they're doing remarkable things with swing and pace and cut. Uh, well, amazing names you mentioned. Let's let's look at the full list here. So you've got for the Australians, yep. Warren, of course. Ray There's Lidl. no of course about it. It was a marginal selection. <laughs> well, and some of us would have argued that Tiger O'Reilly should have been there before him, but uh, one went with the tie. Well, even McGill, who had less matches and more that fifers. Would have been brave. Yes, and uh, yeah, certainly Stuart McGill. But there's been some remarkable individual performances at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Some would say Jack Iverson. Yes. Well, this was not possible. Uh, let's look at the World 11's bowling lineup here. Um, some huge names: Richard Hadley, Anil Kumble, George Lohman. S.F. Barnes and Harold Larwood. Yep. Well, what I great of versatility, isn't it? The, in, it is. The World Eleven attack is far more versatile than the Australian attack. And it's spread over a nice range of eras. Uh, the uh, the 19th century is extremely well represented, mm. or the golden age before the First World War, between the wars. And that's one of the things that we tried to do with the teams to represent the entire panoply of 99 tests. So one of the features about the Sydney Creek Grounds is it doesn't yield its records readily. Uh, the, the best bowling performance of the Cricket Ground is by Lohman in the 19th century. The best batting performance is Reg Foster in 1903-04. No team has ever mm. chased down 300 in the fourth innings. There's only been three hat-tricks in all of those 99 tests. This is a ground where it's hard to, you know, to beat uh, the past. Let's have a look at the wicket keepers, guys. You've chosen the Gloveman Gilchrist and Knott. What, what uh, led them to 
make the list ahead of the others. Well, Gilchrist is, I mean, I think you can mount a pretty strong argument that he's one of the most remarkable players in the history of the game. I mean, he revolutionised um, uh, wicketkeeper batting. I mean, it's always a, a very interesting argument. Are you a batsman wicketkeeper or wicketkeeper batsman? And, of course, the, the nomenclature has changed over the years. And, uh, I mean, he is a remarkable, r remarkable player. Um, I always remember with uh, wry amusement, John Arlott talking about not, of course, his initials being Alan Philip Eric, A-P-E, and he always say, you know, what, what parents would name a child A-P-E? But he was, uh, a, I mean, he was a very clean wicketkeeper. Well, guys, it's amazing to think that these are the players that have graced the SCG over the last 99 tests. Well done for, for choosing the team, and thank you for joining us. So we've got a full analysis from Malcolm Conn on the World 11 and the Australian 11 on thetelegraph.com.au.